In the following tutorial, we'll review how to set up your Chargeify account. After you log in, you'll be directed to our Site Selector landing page. Here, you'll find your name in the top right-hand corner with an attached drop-down menu. You can modify your user details, including your full name, email address, and password by clicking My Profile. You can also enable two-step verification. Two-step verification requires a user to first submit their password and then enter a seven-digit code typically sent via SMS by Authy. While people access the Authy app via their cell phones, there is also a desktop version available. We highly recommend implementing this two-step verification process to prevent unauthorized access to your Chargeify account. You can keep your merchant information up to date in the Merchant Info menu. Note, the most important field is the email address. Chargeify uses this address to contact you, and it's also the default from address we will use when sending emails to your customers on your behalf. Entering the correct time zone is also important as it's used to determine dates like subscription renewal times in Chargeify. You can configure additional security settings in the security menu like requiring secure passwords and two-factor authentication. You can also force password changes every 60 days and deny the use of any of the previous 10 passwords set by the user. Navigate to the Users menu to add an administrator or a team member. The key difference between the two user roles is the administrator's ability to add team members to the account. You can control user access to one or more of your sites and whether the user has view access, and if so, whether they can make changes to your products, view and export financial performance data, or manage your subscribers and customers. You can also view and update your Chargeify plan and billing information in addition to viewing your past statements by clicking Billing and Plans. You can also delete your Chargeify account on this page if you choose. Finally, you can export your audit logs by clicking and following the prompts on the Export Audit Logs menu. After completing your account details and security settings, you can review the notifications you've received by clicking the bell icon next to your name. Notifications include urgent billing issues, feature announcements, system status updates, and configuration issues, which may impact your account. You can engage our support team by clicking the quote bubbles next to the notification icon. Our team can answer your technical questions on integrating our API or simple questions like how to create products, components, and coupons for your customers. Sites are the cornerstones of your Chargeify account. Sites are independent containers for your products, customers, and subscriptions. Our recommended best practice is to have one site for each of your businesses and at minimum two sites, one for testing and one for production. Each site is distinguished by a unique subdomain, which becomes part of your unique Chargeify URL. For example, if your subdomain is Acme, your Chargeify URL would appear as acme.chargeify.com. To create a new site, click the Create New Site button. In addition to the unique subdomain, you can specify a site name for your internal use, which is not seen by your customers. You'll then set the currency for the site. Please note, if you transact business in two or more currencies, you'll need a separate site for each. Once you've selected the currency, you can specify the date and time format along with your time zone. You can enter a reply email address here. Chargeify will use this address when sending emails from this site. It overrides the email address which you configured earlier under the Merchant Info menu. Once you've created your site and selected it, you'll be redirected to the site's business dashboard which we'll review in our user interface tutorial. You can also clone a current site by clicking the cog dropdown associated with the site you'd like to clone. Please note the default options do not include cloning your custom fields or settings. If you do not clone your settings, your pre-configured emails, dunning strategy, webhooks, and public sign-up pages will not be reflected on your cloned site. Lastly, you can edit a previously created site by again clicking on the cogwheel drop-down and selecting Edit Site. You can edit all of the settings you configured when creating the site, and you'll also see the site's shared key, which you can use to generate self-service URLs. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Additional information can be found on our product documentation at help.chargeify.com. Also, please feel free to contact our support team at support at chargeify.com with any additional questions. Thanks for using Chargeify, and have a great day.